this is a case of bronescent nuclear 4 plus cataract managed with phaco emulsification. The patient has neglected her cataract for more than a year because of fear of getting COVID-19. And finally, she gave up and asked for cataract surgery. She couldn't tolerate her impaired vision because of such dense cataract. In this case, it is preferable to reduce the ultrasound energy inside the eye to as low as possible. We can use the pre-chop, phacochop techniques, or of course, the femtosecond laser can pre-cut and soften the lens nucleus before emulsification with the ultrasound. However, if the femtosecond laser is not available for a reason or another, we can use the MyLoop. It is a disposable handheld device with a memory-shaped expandable 90 nanometer loop to snare and cut through the nucleus into two halves. The 90 nanometer alloy is very soft and hence very gentle on the lens capsule. This device is provided with a lever to advance and retract the loop inside the eye. It is made by Zeiss. I don't have any financial interest in this product. By retracting the lever backwards, we can retract the loop. So we can introduce the loop through 2.2 millimeter incision. I don't do hydro dissection in this case. That's not necessary in my opinion. Now we can advance the lever so the myloop will expand inside the eye between the lens capsule and the cataract. You can see now the silver reflex underneath the lens nucleus. We have to keep this reflex just below the myloop. And now by retraction of the lever, the myloop will cut through the nucleus into two halves. We can support the lens nucleus to prevent eversion. That sometimes occur in some cases. Now the lens nucleus has been divided completely into two halves. We can give the myloop another try to divide each half into two quadrants. Make sure while expanding the myloop to accommodate both halves of the nucleus. We cannot see the silver reflex in this case, but we can over rotate the myloop for about 270 degrees to make sure that it has accommodated both halves of the nucleus. With a small pronation movement, we can bring it back to the uh, vertical orientation, and with the retraction of the lever, the myloop will cut into each half to four quadrants. Now the lens has been divided into four quadrants and as you can see we have completely separated four quadrants. I have fast forward this part of the surgery because this case has been converted from challenging nuclear 4 plus pronescent cataract to just a routine phaco emulsification of nuclear 3 cataract. The advantage of the MyLoop here, it is very gentle on the lens zonier, so it can be employed in cases of zonulopathies. And again, we have complete separation of the lens quadrants with the MyLoop. Compared to the femtosecond laser, the femtosecond laser can pre-cut and soften the nucleus by the femtosecond laser energy, but we are not allowed to go closer than 500 microns from the posterior lens capsule for safety reasons, because the femtosecond laser might hit the posterior capsule. Again, sometimes in such opaque cataract, the femtosecond laser cannot penetrate through deeper layers of the cataract. This is the last quadrant, and as you can see, the sharp cut of the myloop, it's beautiful cut, of the myloop through such dense cataract. Of course, the ultrasound energy is tremendously reduced. As you can see, the CDE is less than 13, and this is my usual number for, for a softer cataract of nuclear 3 plus. As expected, we don't have too much cortex, just few cortical fibers are still there. You can see the equivalent ultrasound power in full position number three is about 13%.
Now, cortical cleanup with irrigation aspiration, few cortical fibers are there. Injection of cohesive OBD before implantation of the single piece IOL. As you can see, the cornea is crystal clear to the end of the surgery, orienting the IOL within the capsular bag. And finally, irrigation aspiration of the OBD from above and from below the IOL. We have still some cortical fibers, we can address that, no problem. Before conclusion of the surgery, we can test the self-sealing of the wounds. You can see the main wound is self-sealed, does not uh, need any stromal hydration. Probably the side port only requires stromal hydration. This is the first post-operative day. The patient is very pleased with the outcomes. And you can see the cornea is crystal clear, a very mild cornea edema to the center that resolves completely within a few days after the surgery. Thank you very much.